What I'm about to tell you, I've never told anyone before. Pearl Bryan was killed in Fort Thomas off the Alexandria Turnpike. Her spirit roams searching for her head in the old slaughterhouse. I was just so, so much in love with him. Pearl resided in Greencastle, Indiana, where her cousin William Wood introduced her to a well-to-do suitor named Scott Jackson. The two quickly became an item shortly after Scott left DePaul University to pursue a dental career in Cincinnati. Not long after his departure, Pearl realized that she was with child and wrote Jackson of the news. He requested her to meet him there to remedy the situation. On the 28th of January, she arrived and met Scott and an acquaintance, Alonzo Walling. An argument broke out between Pearl and Scott concerning the child. His remedy was to eliminate the baby, but the side effect included Pearl as well. Oh, Scott, I was just beginning to worry. You have your bag. Are you well? Thank you. I'm a little tired. Pearl, this is Alonzo Walling. How, how was the trip? It was okay. And the child? I am a little hungry. Uh, come with me, huh? No place to get Okay. Thanks. Uh, we really need to talk about this baby. We have options. Scott, this is my baby, our baby. Know your place, bitch. On your back. You got her this time, Scott? No thanks to you, Alonzo. After the decapitation, her head was taken to the abandoned slaughterhouse in Old Finchtown, Kentucky. There, orphan children, considered spawns of Satan, were held in the bowels of the mammoth building. They disposed of her head in the evil well as an offering to Satan. Her headless body lay for two days on the farm of Colonel John Locke, before being discovered by 16-year-old John Hewitt.
A year later, the last hanging in Campbell County took place behind a Newport courthouse. There, they were hanged on the gallows at 1142. What about these cuffs? What about them? You gonna take these off? No. Tomorrow at 11.40, you both hang. How's it hanging, Scott? <laughs> Scott Jackson and Alonzo Walling, you have been found guilty of murder in the first degree by a jury of your peers, and you have been sentenced to death by hanging. Do you have any last words, Scott Jackson? Just that Alonzo Walling is not guilty of this crime. And do you have any last words, Alonzo Walling? That I'm not guilty of this crime, as God is my witness. You are now to be hanged by the neck until dead. May God have mercy on your souls. Pearl Spirit remains here, looking for her head. Walling and Jackson, they're here too. They're evil spirits. One morning a car passed through and when I peeked through my bedroom window I caught a glimpse of a maroon car. It looked like an old Dotson sports car, but I lost it as it disappeared by the tracks. I headed over to see what was going on, and as I peered around the back, the car was parked at the foot of the steps. The first thing I noticed as I got closer, it certainly was no Dotson sports car. Hello? Gene? I thought like they'd be here. Yeah. Man, this is unbelievable. So, babe, what do you think? Well, it certainly fits you. Bobby? Who are you talking to, Bobby? I heard you talking to someone. Who was it? No one. No one. I... I thought I saw a woman. I guess it was you, but... It looked like you were wearing a long white dress. It was... I'm not wearing a long white dress. I was over there. I know. I, I'm a, I was just up on stage singing, and I guess I was... Dress on it. 
thought she went out the door. I... Bobby, what's going on? Nothing. I don't know. I, I guess I was just. <sighs> I guess I was just daydreaming, and it. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, honey. That's gotta be the cashier's window. Yeah, give me some money. Hi. How you doing? Sorry. I'm Carl Lawson. Janet Mackey. Uh, nice to meet you. You guys are the new owners, sir? Yes. I just live right next door, actually. Um, oh, right in the farmhouse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How can uh, I help you? Oh, I, I, <clears throat> I'm I, sorry. I used to work here. I worked here for past owners. And uh, I know everything there is to know about this building. If you guys need any kind of information or help or help finding anything. So you've been in, you've been in here before. Oh yeah, I, I've worked. Um, well, you can help me out. This place has a history like you wouldn't believe. It's really? I've actually witnessed a couple of people get shot back here. In, oh. A few years back. Oh. It's. And you want to come back? <laughs> you want to? Well, you know, this place is like a second home to me. I've, like I said, I I just really love this place, and I was hoping that they'd do something with it instead of leaving it sit vacant. Hey, how's it going? Hey, honey, this is Carl. How you doing? I'm Bobby Mackey. Carl Lawson. I was just uh, speaking with your wife about uh, you guys needing some help around here. Yeah, yeah, we could really use the maintenance, man. Well, that's, I was just going to say, I used to do most of the maintenance around here. Yeah, I was just uh, telling your wife this place had a history like you wouldn't believe. Uh, I actually seen a few people shot here. Uh, oh, well. You're not gonna have to worry about that with this place now. I mean, we're gonna change it around. We're gonna have good, positive people in here, and no one's gonna be shooting each other. That's for sure. Good, fun atmosphere. Yeah, right? yeah. This isn't gonna be one of those crazy biker places where you gotta watch your back. I'm glad we met, and you're on the payroll as of right now. So I got some stuff I gotta do upstairs. But Janet knows what needs to be done down here, so I'll leave you two to. Get some stuff done and I'll catch up with you later.
appreciate you showing me everything. I'm just happy to be home. I think I'm gonna get out of here for a little bit. And I'll talk to you after a while. John? Pearl? Can you hear me? I'm back. So I'm never leaving again. After the slaughterhouse was shut down, it was closed for about 20 years until about 1925, where they opened up a bowling alley here. That's why the floor is slanted over by the bar, so the balls would return on their own. And after the bowling alley shut down, they opened up a nightclub called the Primrose Country Club. And the owner of that was run out by the mafia. They later renamed it. Latin Quarter. During the casino days, there's a young lady here by the name of Johanna. She was a cabaret dancer.
goes out to my girl Johanna. Robert Randall. <laughs> so they sweet. had a courtship until she found out that she was Your pregnant. Birthday. She was carrying his child. Hmm. Looking forward to going to Chicago tonight, baby. feeling with everything else. You mean the baby? Mm -hmm. Morning, Sydney. They'd made plans to leave after his last performance. Meet me outside my dressing room around one, and we'll leave then. Playing our song. Johanna likes him. Who asked you? Get the fuck out of here. All of you. Well? Randall in the nightgown. I look forward to departing to Chicago with you this evening. You ask me when will it end. I tell you never. Johanna found his shirt covered in blood in his dressing room. Her father had killed me.
she vowed never to leave until Robert Randall returned. It's Bobby's name. Robert Randall Mackey. What are you saying? She was scared and confused when she took her father's life and shortly after she took her own. She tried to seal the well, and she died in the process. Ask me when will it end? I tell you never. Janet, Pearl, and Johanna were both five months pregnant. How far along are you? Well, you don't need to worry about Johanna. She wouldn't hurt anybody, neither would Pearl. Perhaps you missed the flying ladder? It's Jackson and Walling, the evil ones. This is their sanctified ground. They feel we're trespassing it. Janet, are you okay? What? It's 
So now what are we supposed to do? I mean, they had a full yeah. menu. We mixed it up with American food and Chinese food. They had dancers. Apparently there's a lot of talent going through here. I mean, I, I've heard stories. And look, there's a bar right there. I mean, I've heard Bobby. so many stories. It's just, you know. I know you're busy. Um, and I don't want to take a lot of your time, but I'm going to talk to you. Well, yesterday, me and Carl were painting in the casino room and a ladder was raised up in the air and was thrown at me, came at me. What? Carl saved me from a flying ladder. That's not normal. That's mm, not okay. That's There's something not possible. in here. It is possible. It happened to me yesterday. Out of nowhere. It wasn't leaning against the wall. It wasn't, it was in the air, in mid-air. Well, you're telling me that a ladder came, went up in the air and was and thrown at you? And thrown at me. What am I supposed to do with that? You Why? keep avoiding it, you keep denying it. Because there's nothing something's happening. Something's gonna happen to our baby. Something's gonna happen to me. What if something <laughs> happens to me and it's all because you won't listen. You won't listen to what I'm trying to tell you. I'm listening, but I, I'm not liking what I'm hearing because I it don't sounds like to what me I'm like, telling is, Car is Carl talking to you about crazy stories? No. No, no. Something happens to you. I don't understand where you're coming with this. I mean, we're trying to get this place open. Are you, what do you what do you want me to do? We've already bought the place. I don't understand why it won't come after you. Are you going to tell other people that flying ladders are coming here? How's that going to draw Bobby, people in? No, no, I'm not. You think I'm make this up? Well, no. You think I'm saying that you're under a lot of stress? Work and make this up? Let me talk. I'm saying that you're under a lot of stress, and I can understand how things could seem. Not what they really are, but saying that ladders are thrown at you and you're feeling creeped out. Seeing what they aren't, really. Janet, this place is not haunted. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? I'm not the one making up stories about flying ladders. <laughs> What's wrong with me? God. Listen, you need, I'm you not need to chill out. Anything you need to chill out, cause, cause I'm, I'm done listening to this. We're not gonna do this anymore. What, what do you want me to do about this? This is fucking stupid. The whole thing, this whole thing is stupid, and you need to stop talking about it. Is Carl telling you to say things like this? Is no. he telling you stories about people being killed here? Carl, it save doesn't me. matter. People live, people die. I'm trying to make some music and have a living. I don't want to talk about death. You need to chill out on this. Maybe maybe you should just stay away from here for a little while until we get things more fixed up. You want me to find somebody that's else? That's what I'll do. I won't come back in this place another but day. That's fine. That's fine. It would be a big failure. That's what we want. We want to fail. We can do it somewhere else. Shut up. Just shut up. We're not doing it somewhere else. Oh. You're going to stop right now. I'm done.
bad things are gonna happen. Please, whoever you are, please help me. You must help me seal, seal the evil back into the well. Help me. My name is Johanna. You are my only hope. Please. If you fail, I will never, I will be, never be with Robbie again. You must help me. Go to the spotlight room. There you will find the other missing people.
Bobby? place never speak to this janet's never to know we'll never admit it publicly bobby i just wanted to apologize for everything that's been going on lately with uh, me and janet and I'm really not trying to make things hard for you guys around here. I love being here and I'm doing anything to help out. I found something in the basement. What'd you find? Uh, I think you ought to see it. Mm -hmm. Saw our house here. We use this to get rid of the animal blood. But that's not... When I'm getting in, it's where does this go? As what far as I know, it leads out into the living. It, it's just a drainage for the animal blood. But after the slaughterhouse closed down for years, there was a cult that would gather here. What do you want to do about it? What do we? What do you want I, to do about this? I think we should seal it up and seal it. Seal it up. Get rid of this. Put a new floor down. Janet's never to know about this.
We put a new floor in. We forget about this whole mess. And we start new. Stop. Right there. We're gonna drop it here. This is where it ends. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't tell my pregnant wife things like that. Well, I'm sorry I didn't mean to It's all right. It. It's all right. It's all right. I understand. You know, history is history and the future is now, so let's just get on with it. It happen again, right? I mean, the lights are, are done. We're, I mean, I don't want to be up on stage and then everything go dead because of some kind of circuit situation. I mean, oh, yeah. it, it's good. What yeah. I have out here finished up, yeah, it's all good to go. I mean, because if you got to call somebody else, let's call somebody else and, no, and get it fixed. It'll take a little time to get everything, but We're everything good. out here is okay. really, it's yeah, up to date. Because I got a deadline, I got people promoting this place. I mean, I, I just want to, I just want to get it over, man. I, I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I'm under pressure, so. I just gotta do what's gotta be done. And that's oh, why you're here. Don't worry about it, we'll get it done. If she starts asking you questions about anything else, just just send her to me and, and I'll, I'll make something up. I mean, I, I just don't want her to be scared. You know, I, you may see her, but I have to live with her. So I, I need her to be sound of mind right now. So I didn't mean to scare anybody, I was just... Yeah. It's all right. I mean, she gets carried away. So, um, where where's the boxes again? I mean, let's let's make sure that this is going. So I'm 
ghost put blood in the sink and shoved your head in the sink. What you I listen. what I don't be quiet. You are not trusting me. You're not treating me with respect, and you think I'm making this up. Janet, there's no blood in the sink. Now, you uh, said there was the blood in the sink. Nobody cleaned the sink up. Nobody, no, there's nothing here. There is nothing here. I have seen and heard nothing. There has to be a logical explanation. There has to be some. There's no logical explanation. I told you what happened. I told you what happened today. You don't understand what I just went through. Well, then call a fucking priest, because we need an exorcist. I already did. And you need to stay out of it. Her name is Patricia, Patricia Michelle. Oh, and great. she's credible, and she believes me, and she says she can help me, and at this least is, I can depend on her, since I can't depend this on you, Bobby. Three ring circus. Why don't we get you some elephants and put them right over there? Why don't we get some you clowns? You think I want to yell and scream and get attacked for no this reason? You ridiculous. think I would put you through this for no reason? A psychic. Be what are they quiet. Gonna do? What are they going to do? What's <sighs> a psychic going to do? I'm going to have her help you. Just understand that maybe you don't know everything. Looks like blood to me. Ridiculous. And this is, this is, Pearl is here. I haven't seen her yet. I have not seen her yet. She's by, she's by that, she's by a chair and she is standing right there. Okay, I hear you. Just like she's perfect. I see her face. Um, a round face. She has a real sweet round face. Look at you, you're perfect. You have a head, you have everything. You're absolutely gorgeous. You're wonderful. He told you he was going to marry you. To be with him. Where'd you come from? Indiana. Is that where you live? Okay. Nobody should go uh, without their head. The story will be told and it will be told the right way. I don't know what happened to him or why he did this. She said, oh, because I'm pregnant, because I am pregnant, that's why. He and Alonzo 
They help me down. down. And I could feel. I felt the knife pierce my neck. I was begging for my life. And if you want to show me why you're stuck here, that's okay with me. I hear all this terrible, terrible, terrible screaming. Oh my God. Jesus, please come. Help these poor people. Oh my God. This is awful. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Well, I am telling you everything that I've seen. Let me tell you about it, Janet. This place is haunted. Does this mean you believe us now? A woman that's, um, her name is Pearl. I saw her in the area in front of the stage and I started talking to her. She's looking for her head, although I saw her head on her, you know, when I saw her. And I, she keeps saying she wants her head and I said, well, your head's on you, but. Um, and Bobby, you really uh, are Robert Randall. Johanna's love. Honestly, I, no disrespect to you, I just can't believe in things of that nature. Have you ever felt her near you? No, no I haven't. Well, you are, you are connected, very much so, and you're going to see that, you know, throughout your life in some way, you will be connected to this lady. You're going to find that you're going to have difficulty with this baby, honey, and carrying it. And uh, I just wish that, that, you know, that Bobby, you would embrace her and know that she is experiencing what she's experiencing. This is my work, and, um, and you got a haunted place, let me tell you, big time. You have a haunted place. I well, know you don't want to get the word out. What, but do we, what can we do to get rid of this? What can we do to stop it? Well, I think that if you could just believe your wife, that would help. 
or you know even if you don't believe her act like you believe her so that that helps her through whatever she's got to go through and uh, because it's not it, you know it's got, it can't be easy for her carrying your baby What's up? How you doing? All right, I guess. I just trying to get my mind around this whole thing. I just, I just don't understand it all. This whole paranormal and ghosts and things. I, I'm just not liking it. Well, who are you hearing this more from, Janet or Carl? Well, I, I'm hearing it more from Janet because she's directly the one I talk to more, but I suspect it, it's mostly Carl. I, I really feel it's coming from him. Would you mind if I did some investigation, maybe wrote a book on it? <laughs> yeah, I could see it now. Terror at Bobby Mackey's Music World. That'd be a really good title if the, if the place really is on it. Yeah. Hell's Gate and the Terror at Bobby Mackey's Music World, maybe. That'd be a good title. There you go. Hey, if you think you can make money on that, let's do it. So if you don't care, it would be all right if I talked to Carl Lawson and, and Janet? Yeah, go ahead. Can't make anything worse. It's been a long time. Um, I'm just waiting for Bobby. Where's he at? He's gonna go into town and look at some carpet samples with Anita. And I just thought I'd come in and, and give you a hand. No, well, uh, actually, uh, Bobby bought a bunch of new light bulbs, so I'm gonna go around and replace what needs done and maybe put up some more. But uh, then later on, I guess I'm gonna start scrubbing all that soot off. What are you doing here? Um, I'm going to go upstairs and, and try to go through some things. Doing all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. I know he got to talk to Gene and Norman. Oh. And they assured him there was nothing here, so I think that's all Bobby mm -hmm. needed to hear. Mm -hmm. Just between me and you, he'll never admit it publicly, so. After the sink attack, Janet left for nearly a month. During this time, the building lay silent, almost too silent, the calm before the storm. I arrived at the club early one morning to find her at the bar, surprisingly alone. We picked up right where we left off. I replaced bulbs. She cleaned upstairs, getting ready for the grand opening, just like nothing had happened. I knew Janet was being singled out because no sign of any demonic force had shown itself until she returned.
911 emergency. In the name of the Lord God Almighty, I seal you into hell forever. In the name of God, I command you back to hell. In the name of God, I command you must help me seal the evil back into the world. I'm begging you, please. My name is Johanna. You are my only hope. If you fail, I will never be with Robbie again.
Hello? It's still not safe around here for you. No, I did everything I was supposed to do. I did everything Patricia said. But I did it all backwards. Hey, Carl. All I know is that Johanna told me that it was on these. It's great that she told you that. So is this over with now? Great, I'm glad she told you that. So, is this over with then? Where's Jan? Are you there? I think I've unleashed Devil's Gate. You ask me when will it end. I tell you never. My heart cries out from hell, hell, hell. Ha, 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 ha.